So I just got back in. I thought I would just shoot a little bit of video. I had my GoPro out. I was out doing some errands. Uh, we purchased or went in on somebody and we bought a huge uh, assortment from a closed down business. Had to be somewhere. I had to get up at 3 a.m. So um, I've been running around all day. I just got back as well from Walmart. Um, regular sources, I can't get some things like the wrap I can't get in my bag. So I bought some from Walmart. I happen to have a gift card, so I just abused it. Now, what's good about these is they come in different colors. So if you want to sort something out like jewelry or like you see some of the buttons here, these are 10 pound bags each, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60 and 70 uh, just in buttons right there um, maybe even a little more than that but there's roughly 110 or so buttons per pound so you can kind of estimate the uh, the weight there but we're going to bag these up and I'm going to categorize them when we do it we're going to color scheme them I'm going to chop these up now these are uh, let's see there's 1200 sheets I cut these into thirds so you can say there's 3,600 little labels that I use. And I go through a ton of these. This will last me like two weeks if I'm lucky uh, for new items that I'm listing and stuff like that. I go through these all the time because um, the chips still work. But what happens is when you use these constantly, slid out, slid in, and constantly you know, crossed, uh, moving from one place to the other, the plastic breaks. And then they don't fit properly, and then um, you're risking it. So I usually just swap them out when they do that. I buy a half a dozen or more at a time. We go through a ton of these. This is some of what I got today, too. Just FYI, I get costume jewelry all the time. There's five pounds or better of better stuff in here. I might show it in a video here, but um, let me just show you a few other things. Like this stuff right here, this is all stuff that hasn't been listed and backed up since not being able to have employees. So this is all stuff. There's cards, paper items, um, labels, photos, some jewelry, which I did show out in a video, uh, some mining stuff, some real nice early postcards. I've got some early greeting cards from Circo. I don't know what you say about 1880 on all of these. Again, these are stuff that isn't uh, listed, just came in. Um, I got some pretty neat buttons, if you like buttons as well, too. Again, these are what just came in, and they're brand new, still in the package. That's how they would have been issued back in the day. Uh, let's pop over here, too. So I get a question on backstock. Now, this is mostly new stuff. You can see the Star Trek watch. I've got the GoPro stuff over there. Most everything else has just been crammed in here because I haven't had a chance to sort with no staff. Most of the time, this area is pretty empty of stuff in here it'll come in like a huge box of postcards they'll be gone through and then they'll be taken somewhere else this is usually just a staging area but now we've got so much stuff coming in with hardly anybody able to list at any you know consistent time frame so again stuff's just backed up i hate stuff on the floor i've got records now uh ready to list i've got some more ready to list there's another 60 or so pounds of buttons i got books Again, this is all back stock stuff. This is all stuff that, you know, everybody should pile on when you can during the summer when it's cheap. For those who didn't have a lot of stuff to list when the pandemic started and you're stuck at home, this is why I don't have to worry. This is just, what, three shelves worth of stuff. I, I'm full to the brim. This is just the, the cockpit, I guess you'd say, of our area. This is just where I control everything that goes on in the business. So if somebody comes in, they come here first, and this is what they do. They'll grab something. They'll grab a laptop or something. Um, there's a couple laptops out. I've got some more up there. Um, everything usually just stages in this area. But when I'm backed up, things just get so out of hand. I've got real nice stuff. There's military buckles in here. I've got uh, some of the jewelry pieces you've seen. I got vintage keys, more nice jewelry here. Um, this is some nice stuff here. These are collar discs and emblems from um, New York City Police, Precinct 41, and then some uh, World War II and before. I got toys. I mean, this is just my staging area. This is Civil War buttons. There's around 12 pounds of just Civil War buttons. 
British buttons behind that. I've got some patches and some doodads, labels, stamps, postcards, labels, stamps, postcards, and these are full. And I do mean full beyond belief. This is just scrap stuff that's come in. I haven't went through any of this. It's just piled up. There's probably 20,000 or 30,000 cards crammed in just this little area here. Better stuff's in boxes um, on listed A, B, C, E, jewelry that hasn't gone through. Um, just stuff just all over the place. This is not usually how this looks. Here's a bag of buttons I need to go through. 12 pounds or so of buttons. Um, more buttons. That bin right down there is full of buttons. There's around 125, maybe 130 pounds of buttons just in this bin. I'm talking about this one here. That thing is full. There's a five pound bag of 50 to 100 dollar buttons each. There's probably three thousand dollars maybe in there there's some new postcards haven't done anything with all of this stuff here and you can see why i get so many cards there's a card in every one of these bags and there's multiple bags card um card that one the card's in something and it says where it's in more bags again this stuff's all photographed scanned priced and ready to go all the records are ready to go those records are ready to go all of this stuff is just backed up here, which is murder. Again, there's another stack of cards labeled. There's another bag, cards labeled. Uh, let's see here. This is another one, card labeled. Another one, card labeled. And, and there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's beer labels, um, tickets, postcards, uh, brochures, advertising. And these are um, business ones I have to track down on some of these. But most of these are like 20 bucks a pop. But uh, that's just giving you an idea on the stuff again. These are small things. There's tea bag uh, tags, advertising stickers, labels. It goes all the way back, all this stuff. I've got some price guides. These are stock albums back there that are just full of stamps, extra stamps. These are all just extra stuff that um, I've been kind of sorting price guides up here uh let's see what else i got over here uh military buttons uh some really nice ones here the top row are from around 1815 through about 1830 some real nice phoenix buttons in there in fact let's show you a different case here this one has um excellent example there are some rev war buttons in here including usa at the very top usa intertwined these buttons all date to around 1830 or before there's some nice regimental i'm sorry the case is kind of dirty but this is the kind of thing i just got in it's a collection as i've been talking about button wise i have buttons galore uh toys Again, stuff is just everywhere with us right now. This is greeting cards that just came in, uh, scrap that just came in, somebody cut out. California, a bag of California. Uh, let's see here, curiosity shop, more California, it looks like. Admission nights. Um, I've got music related. Here's a whole bag of money and some other little poster stamps in there. Uh, military items. I see some cards. Valentine's here. Uh, again, jewelry as you saw. Here's V-mail. U.S. military uh, personnel stuff up there. This is just literally what's just come in not too long ago. This is maybe two months worth of backup in here. Usually, again, this area is empty. This is where I set everything. If I'm working on something, I usually have shelf space. Again, everything is packed in here. I am totally backed up with merchandise. Like just with this shelf, 20,000 cards. That's 20,000 listings in this little area right there. Um, there's a huge box of slides back here, more postcards. There's postcards in here, as you can see, some advertising, die cuts, Christmas, Christmas poster stamps that date back to around, uh, I'd say, maybe 1890, 1910. Just some phenomenal pieces of history in here. Some stamps I need to sort through and check out. Uh, early photos, early advertising labels, uh, World's Fair stuff. Uh, I mean, it's just loaded. I even have 
a uh, I got this the other day too. I paid a quarter for this. This is a Delphi uh, XM radio remote control, and I love these things. If you've followed me for any length of time, I might use this one. If not, I get fifteen or twenty bucks a piece for these. But this is just again back stock from just a few months this is literally how quickly everything backs up in here you can see some of the items i just hauled out in a haul video here some other items i talk about um, again there's some boxed 45 some 45 some reel to reels some old film that's still good those packets those blue boxes are like 80 bucks a piece i got 12 of those in here uh, carved wood box, all uh, fancily done. Display boxes, I think there's something in them. Reel to reels, molds for jewelry. These are huge stuff boxes of just postcards, brochures, dolls, um, books, um, some Mark stuff in there, um, some more milk caps. I, I mean, it's just loaded in here. This is literally. The, the stuff that just comes in and we just dump it in a box. Usually, again, and it won't say on listed mixed, it will be empty bins with stuff that just comes in. And then from there, we'll pull it apart and sort it and decide what we're going to do with it. I mean, I've got, those are 8 millimeter films. Those just came in. Here's another tray of uh, slides. Slides all over this shelf here. Um, I've got some clothing that I pulled out, I videoed for somebody, but that's about the only other thing that's not sitting around. Um, you can just see the quantity. This stuff here is some vintage posters. This is full right here. There's sheet music on the top. All kinds of, there's probably 200 pieces of paper that I can sell individually in there. Some decent records. Um, again, this is just a mix of what we get so, and I still have this that we just got just today, um, like even over here. These are from just today, again, these postcards here. Californian stuff, there's a very nice sterling bracelet there, just came in. Uh, more sterling in there. There's some gold in this bag, there's some sterling in this bag here as well too. This is probably my sixth haul in the last, say, two or three weeks that I've gotten gold in. Six hauls that I got gold and silver in both of those hauls. But I just thought I would shout out a little bit here. You can see the mess that this place has become. This is usually fairly clean. I'm an organized person. I honestly hate stuff on the floor. And for me, it's just backed up beyond belief. Again, it, it may not look like a ton of stuff, but you're talking individual pieces of paper like the postcards, tens of thousands of postcards. It takes a lot of time to list and scan that many. So I've got, you know, a year or two worth of stuff without touching anything to go sourcing in just this small stuff. And on top of that, all of this is pretty much paid for other than the buttons. You know, that's about it. The buttons are, are sitting here until we categorize and go through them. I've went through maybe half of them because, again, there's a thousand plus in each one of these bags. They all have to be examined. You have to look at the backs and everything else like that. But anyway, hopefully that gives you a little idea on some more stuff that we do, what goes around. Um, again, this is the control room for my business. Everything I do personally is sitting in this, this little area here. Now we've got several other areas that are two and three times the size of this, plus storage on top of that. And you've seen some storage stacks. You've seen the back room and stuff that we, we get. We've got you know a theater area as well too. Um, but this is just a little behind the scenes for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
bit smarter. You don't know? The Jackson 5.